how did I not notice this was coming out? I don't really do much of this kind of thing on the channel or anything, but one of the big um, game genres that I'm a fan of are turn-based strategies. Now, for the most part, the series I keep going back to is the Galactic Civilizations series, which is sort of like a sci-fi version of the Sid Meier's Civilization games, made by a completely different company. But, um, let me turn the volume down on the sound. There we go. It's made by a completely different company, by different people, but it resembles Civilization in a lot of ways. Only it's got some added complexity. In my opinion, the AI was better in galactic civilizations, especially two, which had remarkably good AI for its day. But you also have the ability, and this is my favorite thing about it, to design your own units, your own ships, and all that kind of stuff, which I think is the most awesome thing ever. Now this is in Alpha, so it's the 0.5 version, so it's a, it's a ways off of completion. But I found it on the un, uh, the Epic Game Launcher, or whatever the hell they call their store. So I just downloaded it, or I bought it and downloaded it. So let's jump into this. Let's take a ganders at some of the different races. Oh, a lot of these are locked. So you got humans. Look a lot older in your screenshot up here than you do over here, bud. Festron, I don't know that race. Uh, Navigator, I don't know that. They use a lot of the same races over and over again. It's the fourth game in the series, of course. But, uh... Hey, look, Orion's. <laughs> okay, this is a... This came back from a previous series. So then you have the Dredgen. You can play as the Dredgen. Another, uh, returning race. Alterans. Your... Torian. This is a new one. I don't remember this. Crin, Iconian, Drath, Corporate Sector. Okay, so this is Iridian, so they got a different name now, for whatever reason. Onyx Returns, I don't know this one. Oh, random. And Custom is locked for the moment. I'm going to go Humans. Can customize. You can set different, uh, well, I mean, this is the first time I'm playing it, but I'm seeing a lot of returning things from previous games. So you have the ability to change around things. So like, okay, you have like, okay, so you can change like clever. Your base is zero, but you can add one or two. But, unfortunately, looking at this, you reduce the total number of points you have. So, something else, like, say, I went clever plus one, I'd have to take something else, like, say, influential, and put a minus one on that in order to even out my total number of points. Uh, this is what our ships are going to end up looking like. Uh, all right. galaxy size constellation. Parsec. Cluster, Constellation, Arm, Galaxy. I'm going to go with Constellation. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to leave a lot of these alone. I'm going to leave a lot of these alone. And just jump in, so... Okay, so these races do exist in the game, you just can't play as them. So, Alteran, Manti, Navigator, Festron, and Mimont. Okay, they're definitely going to be in here, but the others are all randoms. So... The animation is jerky. It actually froze. I hope the game didn't freeze. Uh, 
music's still playing, so... Oh, there we go. Ah, da, da, blah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I remember reading something about this. That the galaxy, like in previous games, the galaxy was one large map. So, you zoom out and you see an ass ton of stars everywhere. And each one may or may not have planets. But in this, it's... This one I read that it groups the galaxy up into a bunch of different clusters. So this, I guess, is one cluster here. And then I'd take my ship to the edge, maybe. And that would allow me to move on to a different cluster. And in that cluster, there may be an enemy, there may not be. But it's another group of planets. So I wonder how that's going to end up working out when it comes to large-scale wars. Because it might be difficult for me to keep track of where enemies are. Where they're coming from, where I need to go, and all the and what's happening in my own empire if everything is taking place on a bunch of different maps. All right, so this is probably my explorer ship. So I turn it to survey, and it'll go and find a bunch of artifacts. Artifacts may have like monetary bonuses, money. It may have some technological upgrades. It may be nothing. It may be something that tries to destroy my own ship but uh, I'm not going to know until I find out it's also going to explore the map give me a better idea of what I'm doing because we got the fog of war over all of these different planets colony ship I need this to colonize new planets um, in the earlier games earth was the human starting colony, of course, but you also had Mars, which could be colonized. Where is Mars? Artemis, huh? That's a colonizable planet, it looks like, because it's a class 2 instead of a class 0. Artemis, though, what the hell? That's not a... Is that like a dwarf planet? Mars, okay, that's class 3. That's better. <laughs> it's my shipyard. Alright, let's colonize Mars. Ah, my ships are slow. It takes two turns to get there. Let's figure out what we should research. So you had your tech tree. Just like in Civilization or any other strategy game. You have your tech tree. Although this screen is completely new. Are these the only things I have the ability to research? Armed shuttles, star bases, space elevators. Okay, so it looks like I'm limited to these four technologies I can research. And if I get another technology minister, technology minister, I can drop them in here. Oh, the tech tree isn't available in the alpha version. If I get another technology minister, it's another thing I could potentially research. I could also hit this, and that looks like it'll reshuffle the technologies I can research, but adds 10% to the research time, so I don't want to do that. And there's probably not a lot of technologies I can research this early in the game, so I'm going to go hyperwave radio. Or, you know what? Space elevators. I'm going to be in a hurry to build. Oh my god, this looks different. <laughs> Alright, so it's my planet. I have a couple of structures. Um, this thing here, capital city. But I guess these are my... my uh, what are you called? My, I forget what they were called, but they're uh, citizens. Each one adds some buff to my planet. They all have names, too, which is weird. <laughs> um, economic stimulus. I'm going to want to build. Capital mainframe, industrial sector. Build the industrial sector. How do I... How do I build? Wealth, tourism, influence, bonus. 
construction. Oh shit. Uh, I don't know if I wanted to do that. How do I stop that? Okay, that was an upgrade. I didn't want an upgrade. Do I drag and drop? Oh, I do. Okay. Well, I don't want that there. I want it here, because it'll get a bonus. I believe it'll get a bonus off of the capital city. And now, build a ship. I could, I guess, design a ship. This this screen looks very different than what I'm used to. I'm just going to build... Okay, yeah, okay, so I do have the ability to design ships. Let's see the ship designer. So, more or less, you're just going to take... I don't have any things. Any... Hmm. Oh, there we go. All sorts of pieces that you can go and mount on your ship to change its look. It's This is all cosmetic right here. It's all cosmetic. But... If I had more technology, I could equip it with weapons or armor and all of that. Also, like, better engines and all that kind of crap. But the, the point of doing all of that would be to... Uh, I mean, I don't have the technology research, so I'm not going to be able to show it to you. But you could go and, say, design a ship with uh, laser weapons. Because if, let's say I know my enemy is carrying laser weapons and they're really good with shields. Well, I'm going to design my ship, which utilizes shields, which are good against defending against their laser weapons. But I'm going to put guns on my ship instead of lasers because their shields aren't very good at, at uh, stopping gun attacks. So even if we have a similar technological level... Similar size ship, similarly equipped ship. Mine would be better in a fight against theirs because I designed it specifically to engage what they have, giving me an advantage. Of course, the AI will do the same thing to me in the event that it sees me as its primary threat. It'll design ships specifically to fight me. In the uh, in Galsiv two any or three anyway, it didn't seem to be all that capable of figuring that out. The AI wasn't quite smart enough to understand that I was its primary enemy, so it would fail to design ships target targeting me. It would always think that some other enemy AI civilization was its biggest threat, so it would design ships against them. Two seemed to be a little bit smarter about that. The older game may have actually been better. Oh, you know what? It's not building the ship. There we go. Alright, so this one's building a colony ship. It looks like it's going to take 14 turns. And I've more or less exhausted everything that I can do. So let's take a look at... <sighs> a lot of information. Not really useful right now. Leaders. Okay, these are my... Uh, whatever's... Think tank coming... Soon. A lot of this game is not complete. So I'm not... I don't really think... feel like I'm getting... Oh, oh, look at this. Choose your civilization policies from the list on the right. Upper government to unlock more policies. Oh! Okay. I, it's like a little bit of... Um, uh, modifying your civilization. Conscription. Craftsmanship. What does this do? A loss to manufacturing, though. Cultural values. Tradition and influence growth. Okay. I don't know what tradition is. Cruelty. Growth minus 25%. Food consumption minus 50. Approval minus 6. Unregulated corporations. Opportunity 
It was income. Pollution. Oh, I gotta worry about pollution now? Unregulated research. Innovation. Hell, I like... I like this. <laughs> it's all upside. <laughs> and, uh, conscription seems all upside also. It's like tax rate. In the previous ones, you had a slider. So you could, you could very granularly set your tax rate to like 21% or something like that. It seems like we're locked at 10, 25, 50, 75, 100. I remember a game in uh, Galsiv 2, I think it was, where I had so many trade routes and other sources of income that actually set my tax rate to zero and I was able to maintain like a uh, balanced budget. It was crazy. Uh, some crap here. Um, what else we got? Uh, ideology. Okay, so the ideology was like you had good and you had evil. You could go back and forth. Depending on what choices you made in certain like context, um, like choices that they'd throw at you. I read something about it being more complex in this game, but I'm not really seeing authority and liberty. So it's not so much good and evil, just opposite sides of the spectrum here. Um, I can't choose anything, though. I don't have any ideology points. Oh, look at this. Okay, it was right. It is more complex. Because you have authority authority and liberty you have innovation which is tradition and innovation now i do seem like i have a number of points in the direction of innovation so maybe i can choose some of these okay so least valuable forward while holding the most exceptional back which not restrain them so it Approval bonus of discovering a new technology. Okay. These all have the same flavor text, right? Research after surveying anomaly. Uh, focus on education. Three citizen scientists. 150 research. I can't... Um, let me just fire off a few of these. I don't have any more points to spend. So, compassion we have... Compassion and Cruelty, I am neutral in this one. Opportunity, we have Equality and Opportunity. I have a little bit in this one, so perhaps I can. I don't have any culture points to spend here. Secrecy, I'm neutral. Secrecy and Transparency. Harmony, I have Harmony and Diversity. A little more on the Harmony side. No culture points to spend, though. Calm and Focus. All right. This, no diplomacy. Executive orders. Oh my god, another pop-up menu. Um, okay, there's a lot of stuff. I'll get into that later. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. There's a... Uh, I can press tab to move on. I don't have to mouse it. Okay. Okay, so I... We discovered a container with strangely detailed instructions. Explains container is full of specialized nanites capable of examining the structure of whatever material they are exposed to, determining its original design via an encyclopedic knowledge of engineering principles and semantic clue or cues, and then rebuilding it back to like new condition. The end result is we now use these mnemonic, mnemonic, <laughs> mnemonic nanites to instantly repair any of our fleets. And I like I understood all of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's something I can use. It's probably a ship design thing that I can equip on one of my ships, which repairs the thing after damage. But since I don't have any warships, I'm not going to bother doing that. Oh, you know what? No, it's just, a, uh, it's just an artifact that I can utilize on a fleet. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to call it Mars. 
Okay, it's these kinds of things which had a habit of changing your ideology. These would pop up from time to time when you colonize a new planet or just randomly, and it gives you a uh, situation that you get to decide what to do with it. And just whatever you decide influences your ideology. So Mars is an inhospitable home for organic life with the challenges of radiation exposure, toxic soil, and low gravity. Still, we have identified three potential locations for colonies on the planet. Some names. Um, oh, look, none of these are really... There's no... Gain a leader... Okay, so here you go. You gain a leader by landing when a sojourner landed, which was the, uh, the rover during the Pathfinder mission. That was in the 90s. Uh, gain a leader. Gain minerals. Gain technology. Oh, jeez. Whatever. Okay. I don't know enough about the game's mechanics here to judge which was the best, so... Move on. Another turn. And another one of these. A wrecked ship from... Um, engines overloaded. Antimatter leaking out of the reactor can be safely recovered, but the real prize is the volatile remains of the slipstream accelerator, which was powering the ship. It would be risky to collect, but it could be a powerful ship upgrade. What are you doing? It's dangerous. Just get the animator. Space exploration is about risk and sometimes explosions. Collect that engine. Oh my god, 46% chance of success. Fuck it, do it. Failure! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like. Oh, am I okay? So my research was completed. The space elevators was completed. Moving on, manufactured products in the orbit has been with us for many years. Space elevators provide for cheap and reliability. Blah blah blah. Choose new tech. So I think I actually have to construct the space elevator now, but doing so will increase manufacturing capacity on any given planet. Um, build research districts. Four turns to research this. Alright, so this is still being built, but I do have Mars, which I just colonized. Open it up. <laughs> I can't open individual planets. I can only open Earth. Oh, look at this. Oh, that is weird. Alright, it looks like... I mean, I can't access Mars directly. That is odd. I guess maybe that's one of the changes. Because, alright, in, in Galactic Civilizations 3, they ended up increasing the size of the galaxies and I, I always wanted to play in the immense galaxy sizes the biggest possible which the thing actually demands that you have like 32 gigs of ram in your computer to to use because <laughs> the map is so big but the map being so big eventually you end up colonizing so many different worlds like the last game that i played i ended up having like 300 some planets and um Governing all of those was such a hassle that they ended up introducing something called a commonwealth mechanic into the game where you can essentially take those planets that you don't want and spin them off into their own sort of client civilization of yours. And you exercise no direct control over them. I didn't really like doing that because the commonwealths, they, they started at my technological level, but I always tended to give them planets I didn't want. So they weren't particularly powerful. Then they got preyed upon by other civilizations, and I'd get drawn in the wars trying to protect them. It, it was a disaster. This solution seems to be a little bit... I don't know. I'm going to have to see how this works out. Uh, it seems like perhaps every individual solar system will operate as though it is one planet. Because I don't see any sort of bubble radiating from around Mars. This is my influence bubble. So, Earth is the primary colony for the solar system. So, all, and look at this. All, uh, it's got that little line going there. So, 
I don't exercise direct control over Mars, or the I do want to get that improve that uh, approval up. It's only at twenty nine percent. It seems like it's just a sort of a subordinate colony to Earth. Now maybe there are more tiles here or something that I can build on, but I don't notice any. It's like I got nothing to do with these things though, but. If I don't have to, if I don't have to manage every individual colony, that'll make the game, late game, easier. Because the game tends to be fast when you start. Then when you get deeper and your civilization expands and other civilizations expand, you tend to get bogged down. So in the beginning, like a turn, I may just start a turn, then hit next and start the next turn 10 seconds later. Whereas it may be 5-10 minutes or so per turn. Once the galaxy gets larger, because of all the planets and all the ships and stuff that I have. Uh, and, I mean, and alien computational systems found in this capsule are so advanced that our survey team lacked the vocabulary to describe all of their most rudimentary functions. All but their most... Oh, God, I can't read. I'm an idiot. But even those low-level... Yeah, Jesus Christ capabilities would be enough to advance our technological studies by leaps and bounds. On the other hand, they also contain a number of rare resources. You can't hope to understand the technology. Perhaps the raw materials may be of more value. What are your orders? 25% progress on our current research, which is what? Research districts. That is a waste. 25% with three turns left. That may get us one turn. If I were researching something big, that would make sense. Not now. Uh, xanthium deposit and hypersilicates. Resources are another thing that was introduced in the earlier games in this series. Resources are typically mined, but they can be used in ship construction for upgrades. The more resources you have, the more upgrades and stuff like that you can put on your ships. It can also be used for other things like construction projects. I don't know what these are useful for in this game, though. Integrate the ship in their own system. 10 experience points upgrades. That is going to be applied to my explorer ship, which I'm not going to do because that's kind of pointless. Although it was an armed ship in Galsiv 3. I'm not going to be using it as a warship, though. So I'm going to take the resources. Turn. Ah, oh, look, it's about to hit another artifact. Hey, look, it's actually there, too. It's just, it's sort of... Oh, I can move the WASD. Is that how I move? Yep, it's a, it's got, like, a scanning thing going on here. In the previous games, it just sort of crashed into it, and then you had your thing. In this, it seems like it's got to sit there for a turn or two and just scan. Uh, okay, here's another one. Oh, it's a survey report. Cargo module self-contained. Habitat, habitat complete with synthetic workforce. Idle for it. Otherwise, a perfect condition. News. Oh, shit. Uh. Oh, okay. So there's no choice. I just get whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> is this thing trying to communicate? Okay, so it's got to survey one turn remaining. <laughs> All right. Uh, ship drifts aimlessly, wreckage here, seemingly... Okay, so it's another survey report. From the same artifact, too. That's that's new. Usually every artifact only, in the previous games anyway, every artifact only gave you one thing, and this is more than one. Uh, seemingly dead, our away team is surprised to find that the hull still retains an atmosphere. They're even more surprised what they see next. Every corridor of the chamber is overgrown with plant life. Uh, nearly all surfaces are covered in leaves, vines, and branches. And many of the surfaces are organic itself. Or many of the surfaces are organic itself. The surfaces, that's not plural. Itself is not plural. Themselves. You got a little bit of a error there, Stardock. <laughs> in fact, the interior of the ship itself seems to be more wood than metal. And in, in its heart, sentient plants tend to everything. 
These are the Bear Attack. They are stern but not unfriendly, and they inform us that prior to the ship being disabled, they were seeking a world to settle on. One with a grove they contend. What should we do? We can build a grove, which starts a mission. Give them directions to an uncolonized world, which starts at the... Uh, gave us a diplomacy bonus. What's the mission? Mission? I don't know what missions are. Let's... Oh, our research districts have completed, so I can choose a new tech. Let me get hyperwave radio just to get that out of the way. Now, what is our mission? Uh, I don't see... Oh, okay, here we go. Build a Baratech Grove. Oh, look at these. These are all notifications. Build a Baratech Grove. So, I guess Earth is really my only option there. So, where is... Approval and food. Tourism, wealth, influence. Alright, so it does say 7 and it does say 9 here. And those are the number of turns to completion. So it'll complete this and start on this. But this is an industrial sector. And if the mechanics of this work similar to the mechanics of the previous game, that means that... Once this is completed, my manufacturing capacity is increased. So it won't actually take nine more turns to construct this. It may take, I don't know, six or five or however much it'll take my increased manufacturing capacity to do its thing. It's got sound effects for all their movements now. Okay, another turn because I got nothing to do. Oh, okay colony ship oh no that is different now i have to load citizens individual citizens aboard a colony ship in the previous games you just more or less loaded it down with um with people you didn't choose individuals all right this guy doesn't look happy to be here so boom you're on a colony ship now bro <laughs> go to whatever the freaking hell this was you know what Go to another star. I want to see what's out here. Shipyard is idle. So, build another colony ship. I'm going to need a lot of colony ships. You always need a lot of colony ships in the beginning of the game. There is a ship within the debris. All of its systems shut down except for a small amount of power being used for stasis. Our away team discovers Vestron... Ve Vestron? <laughs> Bodies in the stasis chambers, alive, waiting for someone to awaken them. Our ship's doctor warns that the Festron are murderous intent on... Warns that the Festron are murderous intent on laying their eggs. Okay, so it is grammatically correct. It just reads funny. We are other species, they add. What are your orders? Okay, so the Festron in stasis, they are hostile to everyone. Because they use people as nests to lay their eggs. Shut off life support and leave the ship. Any, collect anything of value on our way out. Get three modules and three nanobots. I don't know what they do. Awaken the Festron. We can use them to colonize world, new worlds. But definitely don't let them on our home world. Free colony ship with a Festron colonist. Oh, a colony ship with a colonist of a different race on it. That could potentially change the way you colonize shit. <laughs> Do need a colony ship, though. Frestron will be hungry after stasis. Feed them a few crew members when they wake up. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, free colony ship with the Frestron colonist. Same as the other one, but with three intimidation and minus 10% approval for 10 terms. I'm not going to do that. That doesn't seem balanced. Uh, I don't know what modules and nanobots do, so I'm going to get the colonist. And the hyperwave radio is complete. Uh, let's get asteroid mining. Even though I'm pretty sure I'd have to build a different kind of ship, a uh, constructor vessel, to do that. I do see um, whatever the hell this crystal is, ascension crystals. Also, we have space junk. Now, that's a, that's not a... Oh, it's an approval relic. Okay, if I can 
mine that. That'll be great. So where's my colony ship? Head out to this star. Up, uh, up, uh, up. Uh, Illyrium. That's useful as well. That was used for, like, laser weapons in the previous game. Three planets. Not colonizable. Oh, uh, okay. One of them is. Oh, two of them are. This one and this one. Dead, dead. Okay, that's colonizable as well. All three are colonizable. I just can't colonize the best one yet because I need extreme colonization technology, which I am nowhere near completing. Oh, look at that. That's a good planet. Oh, that is a real good planet. Okay. Wreckage from a ship whose engine's overloaded. There is some antimatter leaking. Oh, I've already seen this. I've already... Okay, so I have a 50% chance. Try again. Success! Boom! I got the Slipstream Accelerator this time. I didn't doubt them for a second. <laughs> I had good reason to. My right, asteroid mining is complete. Um, Xeno Entertainment, Xeno Research, Survey Ships. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Now this is a good-ass planet. Let's rename it. Um... MLG Island! <laughs> water, water reclamation, new source of subterranean water has been discovered, which, if access, could dramatically help this colony. The water could be used to boost food production, or even just people's quality of life. Bans might be possible again, for example. What are your orders? Hmm. Okay, liberty in the ideology of awareness, and 10% approval. Uh, don't be wasteful. This bounty direct all water to irrigating the fields. Focus on ideology awareness. That's plus one. Farming. Allow local gangs to control the water supply in exchange for a kickback. Uh, opportunity ideology and awareness. Uh, it's 10 plus crime, though, and plus 600 credits for the treasury. You know, I have not been paying attention to my treasury, like, at all. So, maybe I should. Um, I'm going to go for approval because my approval is not that great. Okay, so here is my treasury. My revenue is 2.84 per turn. My expenses are zero. I don't know why my expenses are zero, but they are. So I do have a in the black. Um, I do have a budget that's in the black, although I can't run this one either though so it's all done from earth that's it's a little irritating <laughs> i wish i understood that mechanic a little bit better what do we have here a capsule ascension crystal ascension crystals have to be mined with star bases and they are um ascension crystals if you gather enough of them, you just win. You win the game. But Ascension Crystals require an, an ass load of... Um, an ass load of time and star bases and all of that kind of crap in order to mine effectively. So, I don't know how the game balances yet. So, Ascension Crystals may or may not be worth it to mine yet, but... Uh, I'm not gonna just yet. I haven't even built a constructor yet to build a starbase, so it's kind of a moot point to this at this point because I can't mine anything anyway. Abandoned device. This is off of Earth. We have come across an ancient terraforming device near Earth. Upon activating, it tells us there was once a great war between crafters and a powerful enemy. The device was left to help protect future civilizations from predation in the event that they lost. It offers us three options. Use it to improve the world's biomes. Calm ideology awareness plus one farming. Use it to produce raw, use this to produce raw minerals in the planet's crust. Ideology awareness. 
uh, focus ideology and awareness plus one minerals use it to fabricate rare resources opportunity ideology awareness and plus one wealth okay so it's some ideology stuff either farming minerals and wealth i'm gonna go wealth because i love money oh we got another one this is a survey report capsule contains military equipment which is not normally found in civilization container and civilian containers such as this it seems likely that it was dropped by smugglers before an inspection. Their losses are a gain, but we have to decide how to best make use of it. What are your orders? Donate it! The Warforged Movement? What the fuck is the Warforged Movement? Make use of equipment to reinforce and improve the ship. That's for the, the survey ship, which I'm not going to do. And three, antimatter. Warforged Favor, though. What is Warforged Favor? I'm going to choose it. <laughs> and new tech survey ships. And start training new generation of scientists. Xeno Entertainment, armed shuttles. Anomaly detection. I'm going to go with this. I don't know why. Just idle ship. Okay. Okay, we got a class 8, a class 3, and a class 1. Where are... There it is. Go straight to the class eight. Oh wait, no. Requires oceanic worlds colonization technology. Shit. So I can't even do that. <sighs> Fine, get this one. I don't have the technology to <laughs> Kryn missionaries. Oh no. Long ago, this group of Iridium abandoned their empire to follow the religion of the Kryn and began this slow journey through space, a multi-generational pilgrimage. Their ultimate goal is to discover the world of their divine altar. They can worship and base, blah, blah, blah. If we construct an altar they are looking for, they would be happy to relocate to our world. If not, they would continue their journey. So it's a mission, or they must need supplies. We supply the missionary at a fair price and send them on our way. I don't know what this will do for us if I do their stupid ass construction project. But I'm running in the black, so I'm gonna take it. How is our construction of this fucker going? Um, Crin Altar. What does this do for us? Approval and influence. Just slap this in the corner. One turn away from the Baratuk Grove, which will, um,. Finish that mission and we'll get whatever we get out of it. We'll also get the, the construction project finished. Embor 4. Such a catchy name. Heavy thunderstorm activity. This is affecting an ancient ruin, revealing it to be a powerful alien artifact capable of drawing and channeling the tremendous energy. Sometimes this energy is channeled into the bodies of anyone standing nearby with predictably messy consequences. Studying these ruins can provide incredibly valuable, although dangerous, to anyone who has to do it. What are your orders? Leave the ruins alone. They're protecting the world from the storms. Lose one tile. But 10% growth, 10% tourism. 50% 50 plus 50, 50 research and innovation ideology awareness. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, pull the technology in, no matter how many lives it costs. Opportunity awareness. Free beam magnification array ship upgrade. Oh, that could be useful if I were building warships. <laughs> I'm going to go with this. Oh, okay. Baratuk settle in our new world and bring the vast collection of plants from their world with them. Under their expert care, with a few months, these new plants begin to sprout across the world, blending in harmoniously with the existing ecosystem. What does that get me? Oh, okay. Two citizens and a plus 30 diplomatic capital. All right, so I'm not sure what the diplomatic capital does, but I got also a technology researched. Weak AI, increased research on our worlds. Let's do armed shuttles. Let's start. Oh, okay. Because I got that plus 50 technology points, armed shuttles was researched immediately. An unlocks the F-110 Phantom M-0. <laughs> and an armed shuttle, hypersonic missiles, garrisons. Leads to beam 
Weapon Theory, Railguns, Avenger Missile Systems, and Defensive Studies. Planetali, Railguns. Let's, let's do Weak AI. Um... Okay. Ah, uh, we discovered a beacon sending a distress call for the emergency that happened a millennia ago. Grave threats. Grave threats. Galaxy's only hope. Please, anyone. Someone. Something. Though we were perhaps a little late to respond to the emergency itself, the broadcast equipment in the beacon could certainly be put to use. What are your orders? Use it to remain, uh, use it to remain information about our citizen, which influence growth for 50 turns, experience points, of course, and some uh, resources. You know what? There's nobody I'm competing with here, so influence growth for 50 turns, I'm not going to go with. I'm just going to take the resources. I'm going to take these Baratic dudes and load them on. Oh, the ship is full. Okay. <laughs> You know what? Colonize this Artemis here. Ship's idle. Oh, wait, no. No, actually, you know what? Cancel that. I have other shit I can build now. Asteroid Miner? Explore Probe. Uh, one of these, one of these, and one of these. It'll have to build them in series, though. It's only one shipyard. Calm the hell down, people. Idle ship. Where are we? Uh, 8, 1, 3, 16. So where is... Oh, that's the one I can't research yet. <sighs> Go somewhere else. I don't want to colonize a lot of shit planets. Although it may not actually be a problem in this game. I kind of want to expand. I don't want to colonize shit planets because in the old games I'd have to manage them. If I don't have to manage them, it's not a problem. But also I got to be mindful of where I use my colony ships because colony ships um, are rare and I want to colonize better planets as quickly as possible. A strange fungus on this planet has begun infecting our colonists with an illness that is immune to our medicine. Although our doctors can treat the symptoms easily enough, there is no hope of finding a cure, and the risk of contagion is high. With this disease afflicting us, our colony will never see its full growth potential. Some argue that we should cull the disease to protect the rest of the colony. Others, notably the diseased, argue against this. What are your orders? Don't call anyone. Even if we find a cure, we won't become monsters. Even if we never find a cure. Uh, minus 50% 50, 50 tourism. Oh, shit. That's a lot. Um, quarantine the people that have disease. Prevent them from reproducing. That's minus for both tourism and growth for 50 turns. Oh, my God. Call them. Our descendants will thank us for having the courage to do this. Intimidation, negative 25% approval for 25 turns. Oh my god, this is the only one that's not permanent. <laughs> so I'm going to go with it. But it's a lot of turns. He's already picking through the debris field. The captain claims he hasn't found anything here, but offers us a tribute if we let him go in his way. With your orders, he is lying to us. <laughs> uh, some resources, money... Uh, I'm going to take the money. Tales from the Corners of the Empire Dazzle. And, in, wow, that's a word I don't know. Enumerate the people of our homeworld. Every detail of space travel, colonial life, and contact with aliens is endlessly fascinating with our citizens. In particular, our discovery of evidence of ancient alien civilizations has inspired many to believe that our own world hosts the remains of crashed alien ships. True, they'd be a wonder. You could search for them, starting on news and discovery of people. Starts a mission, liberty ideology awareness. If true, these would be dangerous in the wrong hands. Find these wrecks, but keep your citizens away from them. 
Ideology. Start submission. They both start missions. Okay, so we're one move away from that. Um, garrison. Oh, this is the space elevator that I was going to build a long-ass time ago. Oh, shit. I can't build whatever the hell they want. I'm going to build an Eyes of the Universe because, you know... Why the hell not? If I can get it done before everyone else, I'll be the only person that has it. Okay, the Asteroid Miner. Do your thing. Uh, go to pass. Mine Asteroids, bro. Okay, yeah. Yeah, do it. Oh, it's it consumes itself upon use. Okay, so I forget which one, but it was an earlier Galsiv game. It, if it was in 3, it was eventually patched out. But you had an asteroid miner ship, which could move around and start mining asteroids, asteroid belts and stuff. Eventually, in 3 at least, the asteroid mining ship was removed and you can just click on the asteroids themselves and construct bases on them, provided they were within your influence bubble. But in this case, they seem to have split the difference between the two. You can mine asteroids, but the um, you consume the ship. The earlier version of the ship would move on and then mine something else. So we have a ship, but it's consumed on use. All right. Oh, uh, I have a ship that's not doing anything. Oh, all right. It's made it out here. There are no colonizable planets here. Move on. I wonder what kind of range these ships have. Is it within this sector? Oh, after generations aboard their ship, the Radiant Missionaries are thankful to finally have a world to settle on. Although the shock of a new culture takes some adjustment. They tend to the Kranic Altar and make good neighbors of those around them. Alright, so I got citizens and new whatevers. Snatchy Scrap Dealer is already here picking through the remains of the debris field. His drones zip back and forth between floating scrap, quickly disassembling parts. There doesn't seem to be anything of real value among the scrap, but the Snatchy Drone Carrier Bay would make an effective ship upgrade for our ships. What are your orders? Do I take this fucker's ship? <laughs> Offer the Scrap Dealer a fair price for the drones. It'll cost money, though. Uh, Offer the Scrap Dealer... A not-so-fair price for the drones. Only 36% chance of success. I'll be taking those drones for free. Intimidation, check. 21%. Oh my god, I will... I will definitely not win unless I pay for it. Let's just buy the goddamn thing. So there goes my... my money. <laughs> now this is an explorer, so it's just gonna do that. I don't think it can survey. So it's not going to be doing any of that. But it will uh, do things. It'll, it'll look. <sighs> Precursor artifact doesn't reveal anything unusual about it. But when the scan is backed up to the nearest colonial database, strange things start happening. The physical structure of the artifact itself is a form of self-executing code which seizes control of the colonial computer and soon after manufacturing the sector. And soon after the manufacturing sector. Thousands of tiny worker bots are producing, which is almost immediately complete the project currently in progress on the world, and then immediately shut down. Sadly, after all attempts to revive the worker bots, or duplicate the effect, fail completely. Still, okay. That completed whatever was being built on Earth, which is the eyes of the universe, which is rushed to completion. Alright. Well, then that, I guess, is good. <laughs> Would have been nicer if I tried building something a little bit bigger. But, um, okay, so. The Eyes of the Universe. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Let's build that, um. 
Let's build that thing here. That uh, space elevator. And then after that, let's build this. Choose a side. Oh, no. A fierce battle was waged here recently. On one side, Maimot Colony's ship has suffered a hull breach and is on the verge of catastrophic failure. On the other, the remains of a Zelzani raiding ship with no survivors, but a single escape pod with failing life support. We can either save thousands of Mimon colonists aboard the colony ship, or the Zelani captain. There won't be enough time to save both. What are your orders? Quickly! Uh, opportunity, ideology, awareness, um, gain a leader. Or a citizen. Oh, God. What is a leader? I don't know what a leader does. But a leader probably does something good. So <laughs> I'm going to choose the leader. Do I drop a leader on a planet? Assign a governor? Ugh, costs money to do that. Colony ship explorer, armed shuttle, it's a warship. Warships are awesome, but I'm gonna build a colony ship. This is an explorer. That's a survey ship. Awesome. I got another survey ship. Go and survey. Surveys always end up good. <laughs> Unless they don't. Oh, there's a lot of colonizable planets. Three, one, one, six, two, three. Damn it. The only good one requires more technology. Well, colonize this one. I am done with this zipping around looking for better shit. The atmosphere of this planet, thick with poisonous particulates, does have the side effect of causing beautiful, even spectacular sunsets. The word has spread throughout the galaxy of their beauty. A burgeoning tourist industry has developed, resulting in many coughing tourists ignorant of the dangers of this planet. Your colonists are getting tired of stepping all over their bodies. What are your orders? <laughs> Regulate the new industry. We can't kill our guests. 10% approval, huh? Inform the tourists of the danger and provide safety gear. 10% tourism. Okay. Make the deaths look like they came from partying. <laughs> oh my god. Plus 25% tourism. I'm going to go with approval. Because approval on these little plants tends to be bad. See, like, it's still not that good. <laughs> Even with ton plus 10. Weak AI. Being both loosely defined, computationally expensive, no matter what... Uh, let's not read that. <sighs> Definitive studies allows us to build an advanced system in the universe. Allowed to build... Being building, da, 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 da. Defensive studies. I'm going to do Rezina research. I want to get better technology real quick before I start building up a powerful military. Amongst the debris, the debris, <laughs> amongst the debris lies the remains of a precursor ship. Most of the systems are too ruined to salvage, but an adaptive defense system is still online and operational. It's a remarkable bit of technology, capable of recalibrating the field emitters to defend against whatever incoming weapon systems it detects. Even better, it provides enough defenses to protect the entire fleet. It's good news for engineers that can use it as a ship upgrade. It's bad news is the adaptive system is beyond repair. And once the system sets, it will remain that way forever. What mode do we unlock it into? All these damn sci-fi words are hard to read through, especially if it's the first time you're reading it. Calibrated to defend the fleet with laser weapons. The free... Uh, missile weapons or kinetic weapons. I'm going to go with laser weapons simply because in the previous games, most enemies tend to default to laser weapons in the early game. Okay, we got another one. The other survey ship. The debris field makes the former minefield perhaps a neural zone. 
The brief field marks a former minefield, perhaps a neutral zone between two long-forgotten galactic empires. The mines are a curious design, bristling with high-velocity cannons capable of performing all but the thickest, uh, perforating all but the thickest armors. Although most of the mines are non-operational and of little practical use, one is still active. The crew want to scavenge their demolitions to upgrade the ship's weapons. Our scientists claim that's short-sighted, which they would beg us to release the technology for them to study. If we give them time to study the mine, they claim they can upgrade all of our kinetic weapons. What are your orders? Okay, a up kinetic upgrade mission or a kinetic... A lot of integrate it into our ship. Okay, so if they integrate it into the ship, which is the Explorer, get a kinetic attack. Um, I'm going to do the kinetic upgrade mission because I probably am not going to be using the, the survey ship as a weapon. Garrison, Colonial Beacon, Capital, Mainframe. I can't... How do I do this mission? Gather three alien components. Oh, shit. I gotta look for shit. Use a scan planet on three different planets. The scan planet on three different planets. Tells us scan... Serrated munitions. Oh, I gotta research shit, too? Where... Wow, look at that. I can attack shit three tiles away. Go to Sentry. Survey. Find anomalies. Okay, so I think... I think I gotta take my survey ship and scan a planet. All right, just get Let's see what's out here. Up oh, distress beacon. Ah, ba 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 ba. Another read this one before. Influence growth, experience points, and stuff. Now I did this one last time, so I'm gonna go influence growth just for the hell of it. There is a Diablo catalyst in the capsule. A rare ship upgrade that increases the weapon's firing rate of the ship that is upgraded with it. What are your orders? Bring it on board. Which is a ship upgrade. Um, salvage it for stuff. Sell it for money. I'm going to take the ship part. Oh shit, that didn't do what I thought it was going to do. What is this? I can upgrade individual components? Wow. That is something I was not expecting. All I wanted to do was eject the damn thing from... Uh, eject it from... Whatever I was doing. <laughs> Use a scan planet on three different planets. What is the scan planet? Hmm. We have come across an ancient artifact near Earth, believed to have come from an ancient precursor civilization. Upon activating it, it has evaluated our status and offered to aid us. What are your orders? Um, unlock the nail ship in your shipyard. Oh, so it, it doesn't just give me the ship that I have to build it? Gain a your colonist. Um, ideology awareness and plus one technology. Uh, I'm going to see what the ship is. The nail. <laughs> Okay, so it's a missile and uh, shield-based ship. 
Spill that. An asteroid miner. Go and mine me some more shit. Because I like mine. Mining. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do it. I don't know what it gives me. But these probably... In the previous... Uh, in previous games, these things actually... The mined asteroids increase production capacity on their nearest planet. Diablo Catalyst is capable of rare ship upgrade increases weapon firing. Uh, let me do it right. There is a Diablo Catalyst in the capsule. A rare ship upgrade that increases the weapon firing rate of the ship that is upgraded with. What are your orders? Uh, bring it on board. Ship upgrade. Uh, this. Uh, no, I've done this before. <laughs> Give me the money. Oh, another one. A scan of this precursor artifact doesn't reveal anything unusual about it. But when that ship is... <laughs> but when that scan is backed up to the nearest colonial database, strange things start happening. The physical structure of the artifact itself is in a form of self-executing code, which sees... Oh, I've already read this. Um, okay. <laughs> Whatever I was building here, it rushes this mainframe, which unfortunately it was in the process of almost completing anyway, so that was a waste. Alright, so let's build a coordination beacon here. That'll... It'll do some good. Alright, so that should increase my research capacity significantly. Mimetic nanites. We've discovered a container with a strangely detailed instruction. I, yeah, I've already read this. I've already got this. It's this. It'll be useful if I start getting in the fights, but I haven't even run into anybody worth fighting yet. Or anybody fight to fight. I get, do have the nail. That's complete. Explore. That's all you're really good for right now. Um, let's build that last asteroid th out. And then... Then another colony ship. Oh, Xena research is done. Quantum computing. Precursor. Uh, improves relic benefits. You. There aren't any more asteroid belts I'm aware of for this, so it's going to be this one. Alright, I've built out this soul system pretty well. So let's uh, finally see what I... You know what? I, never, I haven't built any constructors. How do I build a constructor? Is that even a thing in this game? But I've read this one. Um, let's do this one. Modules and nanobots. Whatever they do. You're not happy here, are you? You know, all the best planets tend to require extra technology. Sudden increase in storm activity on the planet has dramatically increased the weathering on the seals of your colony buildings. A new generation of self-healing seals will help minimize the damage, but replacing all of them could be pretty expensive. What are your orders? Ah, uh, 10% gross income down. It's a small planet as it is. Ah, uh, jeez. Install seals, steel ones break down. 5% approval. Minus 10% growth. Damn it, it's all bad. It's all bad. <laughs> Garrison, capital mainframe. Alright, so... um. Pop that in there. And then that's that. Let's try to design a ship. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, we also have treasure hunts we can do. Available design. Create a completely new ship. So I'm going to go cargo. Look at that thing. Does it move? <laughs> I'm not going to... I'm not going to put a lot of crap on it. Except for the skull. <laughs> I do have some weapons. I uh, don't have any defensive things. Unlimited range. What's a probe module? Oh, it's an interstellar. Unlimited range. All right. Survey... Adaptive shield per field generator salvage prototype. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, so this is what I would stick on a proto like the first type of a ship. It makes it better, but I would only ever have one. Targeting. All right, so I don't really have anything to. I don't really have anything to do here. I can't. Never mind. There's nothing I can. I can't build a constructor vessel, so I don't know how to build star bases. Oh, I can recruit a leader. Um. <sighs> Has increased amount of gambling debt. <laughs> so these are all terrible fucking people. All right, you, you. <laughs> all right, there we go. <laughs> Does that mean I can? Uh, I can, oh, I can do stuff on this planet now. So I need to sign a, a governor to a planet. And when you do that, suddenly you gain access to be able to build shit. So, oh, yeah. Look at all these things here. Manufacturing. Supply Depot. Awesome. All this shit that I can build now. Alright, so it's a, it's a shame I didn't figure that out earlier. I would have started building this planet out a while ago. Although I guess I really did sort of gimp Earth a little bit by, by not... Um, by taking away this planet from it. How do I build a shipyard next to this one? Don't even know. Just ramming through turns. <laughs> Not even paying attention to what's going on. There is an extension matrix on this capsule. A rare ship upgrade that will increase the weapon range of a ship that is upgraded with it. Oh, oh, here we go. Another one of these. 55% chance of success. Let me get the antimatter this time. I don't know how to scan freaking planets. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, this is how you do it. All right, so it's going to take a few turns. What is that? Oh. Oh, so there's a class 10 planet down here. Where is it? Go down there. Colonize.
Oh. Oh, the terrain of this planet has proven very challenging for a conventional ground vehicles, and some colonists have begun captioning, capturing and taming a local species of marsupial for use in hopping around between buildings and colonies. The animals are well suited for the work, but don't seem to be suffering. But there have been a few accidents. The animal rights activists across the galaxy are demanding the practice be banned. Ban it! Increase approval for 10 to 25 terms. Uh, uh, launch a campaign to convince your citizen the beasts are well treated. Deception. They don't seem to have a problem with it, though, right? Not suffering. They aren't working hard enough. Oh, shit. I don't want to lose any money on this. Um, oh, okay. It's a bunch of things. Oh, geez, so many of these. Experience points. Influence growth. And quantum computing. Mining missions. Xeno Entertainment. That will increase my uh, approval rating, at least. Upgraded lasers. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Another Diablo Catalyst. Take the money. Should have a bigger treasury by this than this by now. Ah, oh, shit. You know what? Ah, damn it. I can't colonize it anyway. What else we got? Oh, there's antimatter down here. If I could figure out how to mine it, it would be great. Uh, though none of the technology is new, many of the entertainment products remain intact and are of great interest to the colonists. Unfortunately, almost all of these shows and programs are incredibly childish and puerile, featuring an unfortunate amount of jokes about orifices, and the colony's workplaces are now filled with practical jokes that sap productivity. <laughs> yes. Let's Ban the trash, then... Then laughter. Oh, ban laughter. <laughs> oh, God. There's no good answer there. Okay. I scanned one planet. I need more. We've discovered the remains of a dredging prison ship within the debris field. The crew was killed in an attack, but some of the prisoners, dredging criminals it seems, survived within the ship's hold. We could repair the ship, which should serve as a workable colony ship, and turn it over to the crew. But many people might question the wisdom of inviting a group of dredging criminals to join our empire. Many, many people. What he orders, the dredging are a violent race. Should probably have them executed. <laughs> Prepare the ship and welcome to our empire. Sure can find someone who pay for a shipload of dredging slaves. <laughs> Oops, Jim. Ah, tr money. Colony ship. I'm going to do the colony ship. Hmm. Uh. There we go. I can't research that yet because I don't know how. Let's do 
research mission and a treasure hunt. See how that works out. Research missions would increase your research points. And um, treasure missions just go and find money. What's this? Oh shit, pirates! It's been one solar year since we left our solar system to explore the galaxy. We are no longer vulnerable to the planet. We are... Uh, Festival Unifier of Civilization... Okay, whatever. These are pirates! The star is called Jason. If I attack this, what happens? Where's that little um, warship that I've got? Ah, no! Get out of there, bro! <laughs> Where's that warship of mine? It's way out here. Get down here, uh, wherever this is, and fuck this thing up. You, us, total loss, them, no casualties. Shit. <laughs> Alright, get down here and don't attack it, but position your ass. Okay, destroy this ship. I want this thing gone. Because it's a shipyard, it's going to churn out ships. In fact, it's going to attack my explorer. Money. Awesome. Oh, smugglers, cracked their ship, the vague about their th uh, by, by, by game two citizens, our money. I take the money. At some point, my economic situation is going to change, and I won't be flush with cash. And I want to have a surplus of money on the side for the occasion, you know, so I don't go bankrupt. Oh, look at that. Duritanium. Um, okay. Discovery. Where is that colonizable planet? Colonize! <sighs> the waters of the planet are patrolled by a monstrously large creature, filled with teeth and ill will. It seems to have taken a particular interest in your colony and has already killed many of your colonists with its aforementioned teeth and ill will. What are your orders? <laughs> Kill the shark and mount the skeleton in my throne room. Set up some island castaways and see what they do with their super shark arrives. You know what? I should check... How do I do a festival? Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Cost me money, but... Uh... But, you know... Whatever it did, it must have been good. Some nice planets, but um, not uh, not anything I can colonize yet. 
What is this? Oh, it's a good planet. Subspace scanning, I was a technology. Let's start developing weapons. Oh, it's Altera. Oh, it's another civilization. I'm close to another civilization. Shit. I don't have any contact with them, though. Where's the diplomacy button? Ideology points are available to spend. Um... Research after doing an anomaly. Logic. Uh, all right. How about that? All right. So that hundred and fifty points. I should research that fucker pretty good, right? Ah, a new group of weapon enthusiasts on MLJ Island have begun a come a problem. What started as a normal interest in our military has developed into an intimidation and even fetishization. Imitation, fetishization. A group decorating themselves with cast-off equipment and military paraphernalia. This group believes that our empire will only survive if we adopt the mannerisms and traditions of the military, and now actively campaigning on MLG Island for military expansion and even the start of military engagements. This movement and the violence it's beginning to incite are your less radical citizens. What are your orders? Why would I order anything? Allow the Warforged Mormon to take root on MLG Island. If we use force, it's not something to be proud of. Put an end to this movement. No, I want I want these fucking psychos setting up a thing on my thing. <laughs> Worship is scattered across the debris field, but we should... Well, only if we can find the components to rebuild the ship. Retribution mission. So many of these. They should tone this down a bit. Cursor ship. Most of the systems are to ruin the salvage. Uh, ship upgrades. Yeah, whatever. Complete new tech. Serrated munitions. Finally. Jesus. So I need to do something here. Uh, for slaw. Oh, I got a balanced crime. Huh. Warforged Foundry. So that's got to be built. Problem is, I don't have any... I... I can't build any kind of manufacturing boost, so... It's going to take a while to build this. Oh, I'm on the wrong planet. I thought I was looking at Earth. Uh, nothing to do here. You know, MLG Island has got all of these, um, these things here. These. So I should build a couple of... I should build a couple of asteroid miners. Because I really do need to build that. I really do need to build up the manufacturing capacity of that planet. God, I've been playing this game for an hour and a half now. I finished, resulting in valuable knowledge. Uh, that was the research mission. Which bumped my serrated munitions forward a bit. Nothing to note here. Get up here and make contact with the Alterans. The Alterans were actually a peaceful race in the previous games. Well, sort of peaceful. 
Well, they, actually, they weren't peaceful at all. They were heavily weighted on the good side of the ideological spectrum, but they tended to be rather militant. There we go. Oh, shit. I can't research... As we were able to communicate with them, but our scientists claim that they can develop a new universal translation. All right. Um. Alien components, experimental upgraded kinetics, retribution. Way to communicate. Research universal translator. Fuck. <laughs> I can't do that yet. But once the rated munitions is gone, maybe I can, um, maybe I can make contact proper. It would be nice to be able to communicate with my close, close, close neighbors. And if I had to wipe them off the map, ah, uh, well, I'm not really equipped for that yet. Star bases. Your universal translator. Starbase is probably what I need for mining. Mining uh, resources, not asteroids. Um. Oh, asteroid miner. All right, this is a big one, bigger anyway. Take it out, my first battle. Oh, it all occurs here. There was no battle screen that came up. All right, I took a, I took some damage, so. It is going to have to, uh... Look at that. I can attack things from multiple things away. <laughs> multiple tiles away. I don't know what kind of damage I made it take. But, uh... I guess I'm just going to have to wait. Hopefully they like what we have to say. All right. Oh, shit. No. No. I wanted to build star bases. Just missile the volley the fuck out of this thing. I want it gone. <laughs> Yeah, do it. Lost cargo. The capsule contains military equipment, which is not normally found in civilian... Ca oh, I've already read this one. Come on, now. Yeah, donate to the Warforged movement. I'm going to placate those crazy bastards. You know, is does it have any ability to retaliate against against me? Will I just smash this fucking thing? Oh, the Altarians. Hey, look, they kind of like me a little bit. They want uh, Xeno Research and Quantum Computing. They'll give me open borders and starbase modules. <sighs> I kind of don't want to give them that much shit. I kind of want open borders with them, because that will, um... If 
I give them some money, they'll head through open borders. And that will ease tensions between us, let's say. Because no one will be accused of trespassing on another one's territory, which leads to increased tensions, which leads to war. And war equals bad if you're not equipped for it. And I am not equipped for it. I doubt they are either, but... Look at that. I do some damage, but it just recovers it before the next turn. So, if I want to take this thing out, I need to... Oh, uh, free... This is a sentient precursor archive. Given its obvious value, it needs to be treated with the utmost care by only our highest trained personnel. But before we can actually communicate this to our survey team, one of the less intellectually gifted members attempts to interface with it. Instantly, he claims to have boundless knowledge unfathomable to our minds, and indeed shows all the signs of a remarkable and sudden increase of intelligence. Over the next several minutes, he details astonishing technological breakthrough after breakthrough before his head explodes. <laughs> so a bit of a mixed day. Free precursor archive artifact. See, it recovered its hit points, so my missile barrage wasn't, isn't really having an effect. Not a good one, anyway. Not anything. Like, I guess if I were going to attack it, I could have some missile batteries blast away at it. And then move in with, like, a, an actual fight. But, you know. Let's build one of these. And then another asteroid miner. Yes, 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 do it. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Another one of these. You know what? You just st century here. Upgraded missiles. This was wasn't. This was once a defensive ship, configured to fire long-range missiles at any ship that came too close. There's no indication of why it was abandoned. Although the station has been non-operational for centuries, our scientists claim that they have advanced our missile weapons if they are given time to research it. On the other hand, our ship's crew feel like they could put the missile launcher to work immediately. What are your orders? Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Retribution. This appears to be a scrapyard of damaged and useless ship parts assembled. I've done this before. Um, oh, right now. Uh, oh, no, this is a mission I already had. Just, the mission, is it complete? The mission's got to be complete by now. Okay. Turn. Oh, look at these. These are the subspace gateways, I guess, that they were talking about. Now, this is how you get from different sector to sector. Letting you go, blah, 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 blah. This, jeez, how many times am I going to see the same exact thing? Oh, 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 wow, look at that. Oh, I can complete a current research project. So, whatever I get here, the next research project I choose, I might as well, like, s computing substrates. Oh, damn it. <laughs> There's a stealth field in the capsule. Despite its name, it doesn't make anything invisible to visible light. But it does hamper enemy targeting systems enough to make a ship upgrade with it far more difficult to hit in battle. This could be a powerful ship upgrade for us. What are your orders? Yeah, 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 okay. 
Now, if I choose computing substrates, improves our research uh, uh, capabilities, choose that, and then I fire this off. Boom! Research complete. That was 13 turns I just saved. Boom. <laughs> uh... Ministry of Foreign Affairs. How do I stick a dude on that stuff? Oh, look at this. Um. Okay. <laughs> Commanders. Oh, like I can get some people. Cost money. Um, okay. You. You get off of this and you do this. <laughs> Where was I? Get down here and be prepared for a fight. I might as well. I might as well build out my colony ships. Okay, they want artificial gravity and money. For that, they'll give me planetary mobilization, planetology, and ministry of trade. You know, that may not be the worst deal ever, though I am not exactly flush with cash at the moment. I'll accept it, though. Ah, yes. Or can you finally build shit at a reasonable pace? <laughs> No, you can't. <laughs> can I cluster these up into a fleet? Yep, I can. Alright, so this is still not gonna... work. Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Choose a new tech. Yeah, I already have that. Oh, look at this. I have another option down here. Oh, because I assigned a dude to the stuff. And that made that work. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm an idiot. Boost our manufacturing. Missile countermeasures. Oh, okay. This... I should have, uh... Oh, I, I have to put this on my own planets. I can't just, like, put it here. Alright. Okay, I stuck a your dude here. Who's... Should help with manufacturing. Yeah, you're gonna... You're gonna century. Until I uh, have something for you to do. It's like for the Altarians among our people. Our turns have requested that we attempt to curb the super group by releasing public statements supporting them. What are your orders? Do I want to support the Altarians? Approval 4% approval for 50 turns. It's a lot. Yeah, whatever. I'm not getting involved in that shit. Okay, uh... Ginny, you're you're going on a ship. <laughs> yeah, 
you know, star-based research and star-based technology was something I had the chance to do, but I didn't do it because I got to finish that mission away. Go. Gravitational Eddy has slowly collected scrap from nearby half light year around the spot. Most of the asteroid fragments, the rest of it asteroid pieces. Yeah, thanks. But deep within the eddy, a tentacle-shaped mechanism slowly circles. Our engineers become unusually excited, convinced it matches the weapon system of the retribution we've been searching for. We quickly collect it and send it to our shipyard. Okay, so I can build the ship now. I don't know what the retribution is, but it sounds like a warship. And therefore, I like it. Ah, shit, I can't do it. I need Promethean! Fudge! Alright, is there a... I have Valerium, Antimatter, Tholium, Xanium... Okay, I was hoping the Alterans would have Promethean the trade to me. But they are um, not in the mood to trade at the moment. What just happened? Oh, military equipment. Not normally equipped. Warforged. All right. I think I lost a... Uh, I think I lost an Explorer. Manti cluster. The Manti exploration vessel is floating among the wreckage here. Some of its clue or some of its crew are still alive. They claim they were set upon by pirates. These Manti were on a mission to find traces of a generation of Manti children that were taken from their homeworld ages ago. But after many years, they still haven't found any signs of their lost generation. They refuse to return to their homeworld in failure, but are growing old and know that their time is running out. They want the opportunity to hatch their own clutches of eggs and ask that if we help to rebuild a birthing pool for them. If we do, we will win their loyalty forever. What should we do? Okay, I'm going to start a mission. Oh, God. Give me money. So I have another mission that I can do. I guess not here, though. Ah, that's not much. Five turns? Level the population. 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 Po there we go. Build it. Oh, it's got to be in water? Uh. Built on lakes. Uh, okay. Is that a lake? No. Is that a lake? There we go. Alright, colony ship. Oh, I got another planet here. Oh, a landing on this world that quickly realized that it has been inhabited before. Beneath the northern ice, explorers found a ruined starship with an active leaching field module, which would be reduced to shield strength of enemy ships in battle. Your colonists believe they can extract the module, but the resulting melt will flood much of the arable land on the planet, and the climate change will most kill the native species. What are your orders? Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. So a native species leave the ship buried, but study its technology. Ah, oh, Baba, there is too much life in the universe as it is, and this module can help our military. Okay, so I don't want to lose any tiles on a planet that's already bad, but I can get some technology out. All right, that was something. Give me the money. Hey, they like us. Does that mean I can, uh... Mm. 
Do you have... What was it I needed? Um, strategic... No, they don't have the shit that I need. I have way more technology than them. Star bases. Star bases for AI. And you give me some money. <laughs> Hey, like you actually do it for four instead of three. All right, so I got star bases. Star bases. Star bases will help me get that Illyrium shit that I've been after. Freighters. Oh, awesome. I can build freighters, meaning I can trade with... I can trade with the Alterans, which will get both of us money and increase diplomacy between us. All right, I'm also going to want to start building up some shit for going to war with uh, that this fucker down here. I want this gone. I'm build a star bay, uh, a, what do you call it? A, um, shipyard at MLG Island. Another Diablo Catalyst. Jesus. What did I need? Was it Illyrium? What did I need to build this thing? Promethean. I have Illyrium. Illyrium seems to be everywhere in this universe. Might as well just start colonizing every planet, since they don't seem to since I'm not stuck having to uh, manage every individual one. I should just colonize all of them. It's just going to take a while to build up that many colony ships. Um, some generation... Hey! Another ship upgrade. Laser weapons, missiles, fire, free integrity ship upgrade. Which one had a research improvement? Jason 2! And whatever that is. <laughs> don't want to lose a tile. Don't want to lose growth. Ugh, friggin' hell. Orbital manufacturing. Let's get beam weapon theory. Let's get better technology for my killing. All of my killing needs to get done. There's not enough killing going on. It's gonna take a bunch of turns for that damn thing to get out there. Uh, a lot of new candidates for critical positions to take advantage of the situation while it lasts. So. Yeah, good. Fantastic. What was I about to do? <laughs> oh, okay. So, less...
Is this like... Oh, oh, so you want more loyalty. <laughs> okay, you basically, by default, and now you do stuff here. Yeah, all right, fine, whatever. A lot of Diablo catalysts I keep stumbling upon. Yeah, it's another one of those fleet repair jobs. The class of any world we use it on. So, if I were to go up here and look at this piece of shit planet... <laughs> You know, leader. Yeah, I'm gonna get the accretion dude. Yes! Ministry of Tourism. Ooh, F-105 Star Eagle. Oh, Constructor, finally. Jeez. Let's put that in the front. I want this done as quickly as possible. Ship upgrade. Huh. Yeah, whatever. Starbase modules. Ah, uh, baba. There was a ship within the debris. All of its systems shut down, except for a small amount of power being used for stasis. Our away team discovers Festron read this before. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. Shut off life support. Collect all the crap. How's that sound? I fired upon space in hopes it would find a new world to revitalize. It was never found in its original target. Alright, great. Ooh, a criminal. Oh, I needed somebody on here for a constructor. That's a shame. It's approval relic. I need to find... I need to find... Um, in a, a relic that'll... That'll allow me to get... Uh, what is this? Promethean. So, do you see a... Doritanium. Doritanium antimatter, that's useful for weapons and all. An ascension crystal. Another ascension crystal. And I haven't explored the entire sector yet. This this area up here that might be something useful. We'll find out in a minute. These two ships are moving into that. I'm on MLG Island. And... Defender Gumboat. Uh, 
Ah, uh, you want nanobots and beam weapon theory for diplomacy. You've got to give me something a little better than that. You know what? Fine. Write a book about your rise to power. He asked what motivated you to lead to drive off your homeworld and into the unknown reaches of space. Oh, this is all just ideology points. Oh, I have an unassigned leader. Okay, that's not something I can do. Not something there yet. Oh, you know what? I can actually take one of my shittier planets and beef it up a bit. Like this one. This is a shitty planet, right? Yeah. Or not, I don't know. Mining rig. Your people have had a permanent structures in space before, but nothing like this. More than a facility, this starbase is an extension of your very civilization. Everything you do, everything you're proud of, everything you and your people are, will exist here. Uh, I have a pirate, another one of these. Promethean! There we go. First Illyrian mind, an unnatural glow, blah 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 blah. Alright, so I can upgrade it, but I'm not gonna, because there's no... There's nothing that's gonna fight it. And I'm just looking to, uh... The Retribution. Do this first. Oh, my trade route finally established. Yay. Interstellar trade. Strong production. Yeah, there we go. So now I am trading with the Alterans, and that tends to increase relations with them. It also gives you extra money. So as long as we're trading, we're probably going to be all right with each other. All right. Up oh, some alien navigators. Let's see what you got. You have not much in the way of technology, technology. But I want to see how much Hmm. What else do you have? You have some money, diplomacy, diplomatic capital, treaties. I do want this. Alright, I think that's actually something I can live with. Where are they, though?
there was something I needed that for. Oh, the retribution's finished. Get down here and fuck this thing up. Get the Star Eagle out here also. Lost Cargo. I'm really sending a lot of shit to these Warforged lunatics. Non-aggression pact and credits and an exploration treaty. Oh, you know what? I was going to go for those anyway, as soon as I could. Yeah, interstellar Tourism and the Ministry of Tourism. You know what? Let's make this deal. I think that means I can do shit now. Ministers, I have... <laughs> minister, minister... Uh... Oh, I thought I had... I thought that's what this was. Ah, nah, whatever. Yeah, thanks. So you, you, there was nothing. There was no information. And uh, bureaucratic office, population and military, maintenance, approval, and manufacturing. Uh, what is my approval rating? Is low. Tourism and wealth. Tourism and wealth. Eh. Let's do this for now. Dual stage detonation technology. Senior manufa- oh, uh. The free trade and regulated laws. Heliosaur and Harmony Crystals Treasury. I'm gonna take these. Open immigration, centralized administration. Hmm. Am I ready down here? All right, I got my new super fleet. Let's see if this will do any more damage now. No, it didn't. <laughs> Alright, next turn I'll engage them in a fight. See what happens. It'll be a fleet action this time instead of just one on one. So, maybe. Maybe I'll, uh. be in a better shape. I mean, uh, maybe it'll show me something different. Uh, well, I definitely won. And I lost a ship. Didn't lose the nail, although it did take a lot of hits. I lost a little ship there, because there were four. And the retribution didn't take any damage, but the nail took a few hits. But it's gone now, so let's... Where were those aliens at? They were over here, right? I had a star eagle is what it was. Ah. 
How about five tech points? Bureaucratic offices. Hmm. What is this? Oh, helium. And I'm not seeing the resources that I really wanted. So I'm sort of held back by how much, held back with how much I could actually end up doing. I want to set this up as its own planet, even though it's not a great one. I forget how to do that. Maybe it's just not big enough. And you can't do that. Up oh, here it is. What is it? Oh, it's these guys. Um You do have a lot of ships, huh? More than any more than I do. Only have three colonies. You don't have any technologies. That sucks. What the hell am I dealing with dealing with you then? I have a bunch more technologies than you do. And strategic resources. Look at all that. Open borders. They want me to pay for an open borders treaty? You're a son of a bitch, aren't you? You know, it's more for your benefit than mine. I could probably kick your ass right now. Yeah. Oh, the ship pirate attacker name 4 has been scavenged. Scavenged. Scavenged! I did lose something. Oh, the retribution took some hits. What the frickin' hell? These are terrible names. All right, whatever. Let's Oh, it's a pirate fleet. What just happened? <laughs> Ah, uh, it's another one of these shipyards. Alright. Well, you're gonna go up here and you're gonna take this one out. Hopefully they've recovered from their... ...battles that they've had. Yeah, a constructor. Construct something, you bastard. Uh, 
I guess ascension crystals, but antimatter. Antimatter is a good thing to have. You know what, since I've researched a few weapon systems, perhaps I could, um... Perhaps I could maybe... build my own ship now. So let's check that out. Completely new design. Car small, okay. Small sized ship. Got no... I got weapons, particle beam, hypersonic missile, and railgun. Let's go with a particle beam right on the front. Predictive targeting. See, I can equip it with a lot of this extra shit, which gives it extra capacity. But it will... It's kind of a waste to use it on such a primitive fighter. So, I don't really want to do that. Ah, uh, new tech. Kinetic weapons enhancement. All right, I'm two hours and 18 minutes into this thing, so, you know, that's going to be long enough. I really shouldn't um, drag this out for too long. So, I mean, this is... I'm going to finish this, even though it's a little incomplete. Not quite getting the experience that's intended, because this... I mean, the game's not done. But, you know, it is what it is. Can't really say anything too bad about it yet. Even though I've been playing for two hours, I really have barely scratched the surface of what this game is supposed to be. So, I don't want to... I don't want to judge it yet. Oh, look, I can see what's going on over here. Oh, yeah, that's where the capitals of the other aliens are. I'm going to save, though. 